Up to 500 students were packed into this room when the bomb exploded. They were listening to a lecture by a prominent scholar at the Jamia Zubaria Religious School in Peshawar. It was 8 o'clock in the morning. The teacher was giving a lesson. We just heard a big bang. Then all the students are running here and there. Police say the bomb was hidden in an abandoned bag in the main hall. Pakistani and Afghan students, teachers and other members of staff are among the dead and injured. Several are in a critical condition. Police expect more fatalities. The injured were taken to the city's main hospital where relatives gathered waiting for news. The attack comes days after Pakistan's intelligence service warned that armed groups could target public buildings, including religious schools across Pakistan. Prime Minister Imran Khan condemned the bombing. No one has claimed responsibility for the attack. The Pakistani Taliban condemned the bombing and denied involvement. The group has targeted schools, mosques and the military since 2001, when Pakistan supported the US invasion of Afghanistan. The peace talks are also going on in Doha about Afghanistan to return peace to that uh, uh, poor country. So there could be anyone, there could be a foreign country behind it, there could be any, any element who is... Uh, uh, working for anti-state element within Pakistan. More than 1,000 students were at the school when the bomb went off. Police say most of those killed were young people in their 20s. Victoria Gatenby, Al Jazeera.